So I'd like to introduce a man that I've grown to trust and rely on, and I know that he's excited to share his story, his experience, and like I said, particularly recently at Trump Tower with all of you here and all of you watching at home. So please give a warm welcome to my friend, Rick Figueroa. All right, baby. Um, I'm going to take, take a middle note. Never follow a black man in a pep rally. I'm going to tell you that. That's... <laughs> Woo! R.W. R.W. Man. I need a hand cloth or something to wipe the sweat. It was beautiful. But I'll tell you what I do. I got Mr. Trump's credit card. I'm buying a beer. Let's go. Let's just call it a day. What do you think? Josh, thank you so much for being here, uh, inviting me here. It's an honor. I mean, the energy in this room is amazing. You guys are, uh, you give me hope. You give me hope. And Dad Gummin, I, I tell you what, we need hope. We need hope. Um, we need Trump. We need, oh. Our nation is at a crossroads. Right now, right here, is no time for conservatives to stand on the sidelines. Not to vote is a vote for Hillary. I'm going to say it one more time because I don't think the whole state heard me. Not to vote is a vote for Hillary. There are two choices, and they're very different. The pain and the problems. People are hurting. They're angry. Because we see a country that's slipping away slipping away and, and, and it's slipping fast and, and, I, and I, I feel the heart and the pain and, and it's almost like what do you do and we're spinning around wondering what to do we, we have chaos in our immigration system our national security is a joke it's a joke countries ignore us we're paying ransom for hostages it, it, it wasn't my idea it wasn't my idea Christians are under attack for being Christians. The debt is piling up. Regulations are killing businesses. And I just gave you the lightest few lists. There is many more. The restoration, the restoration of our founding principles are not going to come from Washington, D.C. They're going to come from you. You will restore this country. It will not come from Washington, D.C. It'll be you. It'll be people like you who say, enough. We've had enough. enough. Say it with me. We've had enough. 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 So, so you got to ask, who's this good-looking Latino standing in front of you? I know, I know. And, and, why, and why, why did he get this spot? So let me tell you a little bit about myself. And Josh alluded it. I'm from Bay City, Texas. I don't know if you know small town. I grew up baby of eight. I, I grew up as a laborer on a ranch and it was good work. It was good work. My mom worked 36 years in a hospital kitchen. 36 years. She's my man. I have met presidents, senators, CEOs. No one is more greater than my mother. I'll tell you. And I, and I give her a blessing. And it's by the hand of God I stand in front of you today. My mother who raised me had simple rules. So let me tell you the rules, right? Seven rules. Rule number one is you get your butt out of bed and you go to work. Okay? Rule number two is you don't expect anybody to help you. Right? Rule number three is you help others when you can. Rule number four is you pray. Oh. Dear God, we, 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 we have to pray. We, we need to pray. Rule number five is you find a good woman and you marry her. I had some ladies want me to reinforce that. You find a good woman and you marry her. You have godly kids and you honor God in everything you do. Now, my mother wasn't trying to raise a Republican. She was trying to make a boy into a man. These are principles we believe in in this country. That's who we are. We're straightforward. The principles are simple. Now I had the privilege. Can you imagine a kid from the body of Bay City going to Trump's office? Only in America. Can I get an amen? amen? Only in America. And I will tell you, I had the privilege because he wanted to hear from the Latinos. And he said, let me, let me hear your heart. 
And I'm going to tell you, he postponed the meeting. Do you know why he postponed the meeting? Do you want to know why he postponed the meeting? He went to Louisiana. That's why he went to... I didn't get invited to play golf at Martha's Vineyard. I could have gone to Martha's Vineyard, but I didn't. I was honored to wait for Mr. Trump and Mr. Pence because they know the pain and the suffering people are having, and they wanted to be there for him. I didn't see our leader there. Did not see him there. So let me tell you, Mr. Trump looked at us and he simply said this. He says, tell me your heart. And he listened. 80% of the conversation was us. And you've seen media, so let me be very clear because I was in the room. I was in the room. He said, give me your heart. What is it? And we told him our heart. And it was so important. That's my uncle. Leave him ignore him. Don't worry about it. <laughs> it was so important that he heard it. And then he said, tell me, help me. That's a man who went into, a leader listens. He's a leader. Don't believe the media. He listens. He cared. Don't believe the liberal media. And I told him, I said, you know, I was told about eight years ago that this guy came to me, si se puede, and I haven't seen anything from him. And he looked at me and he said, that's true. And so you know what I told him? What the hell we got to lose, right? We need to vote. We need to stop. As a Hispanic community, we stop and look at the principles that I've told you. Those are our principles of our family. Those are principles of our lives. That is what brought me from the barrio to the boardroom. From the worker on the ranch to the ranch owner. It wasn't a government check. It wasn't a handout. It was a blessing. And by the grace of God, I go. So I stand here. You should expect more from your nation. You should expect more from your leaders. You have to expect more if this country is going to survive. Here's my ask. You ready for my ask? Will you stand with me? All right. I'm sorry, is this a Democratic Party? Will you stand with me? Stand with me! Now! Trump, Trump, Trump! Here today, right now, stand with me, shoulder to shoulder, exactly you are. Right here, America changes. Right here, we grasp our country back. Right here, just like Bray just told us, we stand, we fight, and we take what's ours. And by the grace of God, and only by the grace of God, in January, it'll be Mr. President Donald J. Trump!